Hello. May God bless and keep your life. Today, let's talk about a delicate subject. And right away I ask you, are you prepared for this topic? Did you know that a person, before dying, gives signs? Life is like a vapor that appears for a while and then vanishes. We would like to have the people we love always by our side. We would like people not to age. We would like to live eternally here on this earth. Isn't that true? But through Christ, we have a hope, which is the hope of eternity. Just as God gives us signs that the day is dawning, that night is coming, signs that spring is approaching, in the same way, God gives us signs that something is about to happen in our home, in our family. I have always heard, at funerals, when I went to offer my condolences, something has always happened. And I want to share a little with you about this. I know that light exists, but darkness also exists. When we die, everything doesn't end. You disconnect from the material, but you continue to live on the spiritual plane. Before talking about this topic, I want to share a verse with you. John chapter 11, verses 25 to 26 say, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? This is our hope. Of course, a person who is in a delicate health situation of a certain age or already has some problems, some things may even seem common to happen, but they are not. I believe that a person, when they are about to depart, may have dreams. And some people have told me that they dreamed of a very good, beautiful place with someone accompanying them in the dream, but they did not see the face of that person. So this is one of the signs. Dreams are one of the ways God is preparing a person who is about to depart or even for them to intercede for someone in their home who is about to depart. Another sign is when a person loses the meaning of life. But here comes a detail, premature deaths. But what is a premature death? It is a death that happens without God's intervention. Then you may ask, how can a person die without God's intervention? There are many people who die mysteriously or even tragically. And I believe, this is my understanding, that people depart prematurely from this earth. I believe that there are people who die, but it was not God's will for them to die so soon. I believe that in these cases, there could have been an intercession from God. Then you ask me, why wasn't there God's intercession? Because there was no one interceding for that person. People say, prayer is good, prayer soothes the soul. Please, no. Prayer is one of the greatest weapons in the entire universe. There is nothing more powerful than a prayer. Prayer can change a story. A prayer can change a destiny. A prayer can bring such powerful protection to a person's life that you can't even imagine. You don't comprehend the power of a prayer. Generally, when people are about to depart, they say strange things. I have heard many cases. A pattern I have seen throughout my life is that people, before departing, ask others to take care of those who will stay, expressing how happy they were with the family they had, with everything they had. People who were bad and transformed before departing. Everyone knows the wrongs that person has done and does, and suddenly that person becomes a good person. The Holy Spirit takes residence in that person's heart, and they transform into a good person. I will conclude this message by saying one thing to you. Nothing happens without God's consent. But prayer can intervene in any cause, in any situation even in relation to a premature death. So, pray and protect those you love. Shield your family and yourself with your prayers. Amen? May the peace of the Lord be upon you, today and always. May no harm come to you. May the Lord deliver you from evil times. We are in constant prayer for you and for all those you mention here in the comments. Stay with God.